How much for one of these turtles? The champion isn't within your means, champ. I have enough. So there you go. How much for one of these turtles? What? The champion isn't within your means. You want me to use it on the turtle? Yeah. Champion is too. <laughs> way, way, way. <laughs> the loser turtle probably only costs five. Five coins, guys. The champion, the winner, costs ten coins. So we could have just. We could have just grabbed the loser turtle with less money. <laughs> so why do we insist on the winner? Why? <laughs> we could have saved half the the time, half the treasure hunt time, <laughs> by just picking the loser turtle instead. Ah, oh, the winner turtle, the winner turtle is going to get eaten by a bird now. <laughs> Just because he is, well, he won the race, he is going to sacrifice his life. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. Is this his price? Alright, quick traveling back. Goodbye, Winner Turtle. You're you're dying for a greater cause here. Meanwhile, <laughs> while you wait, Watson, I need something big with which to catch the lamagier. It's a rather large bird. Okay, what? Oh, we're playing as Holmes up. We have to go get something to put a bird in. Oh. Like what? We lost our uh, our sack. <laughs> we don't have the bag anymore. So should we head back to the storage area and go find another one? <laughs> another bag? <laughs> Can we quick travel back? To... The storeroom. Where we find uh, the first one. Yeah, we found it here. Do we have a second, second bag? I doubt it, guys. What about a crate? All of these products are stamped with a royal coat of arms. But there's some bags up here. But they are full. Uh, a barrel? Can I use a barrel? Gray and barrels. Right. Oh. Okay. Not the black pink. The chicken. Uh, okay. Let me think. <laughs> we have the rooms. We have uh, the chef's room. We have. The dormitory. Okay, what else do we have? Uh huh. We have the weapons room too. Are there anything in there that we need? Okay, let me uh, quick travel back. Oh, there is a hotspot here. I could have used a hotspot in the weapons room earlier in uh, the other puzzle. But there's no bag here, right? We got large crates. Nothing. The net? Can I use the net? No. Oh, I can! Wait. This net would be perfect if it wasn't in such a pitiful state. I'll need some string to repair it. I have a string. This string is perfect. I'll get to work while I await Watson. Needlework! <laughs> we are doing needlework here. Is this a puzzle? 
It's a puzzle, isn't it? It's one of those uh, connecting puzzles. Wow. Think. Oops. We messed up. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, much better guys. Nice. Yeah. We are good with needle Here's work. Your turtle, Holmes. Watson, you impress me. This specimen will be ideal. I need to find somewhere to put it down, Watson. Uh just put it down right below the boat. Is that not a good place? Uh do I need to put the turtle inside the net? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's head back to the White Tower. Oh, we got a spot here where the bones are, guys. Put the net there. I need something. Put the turtle here first. The the winner turtle, guys. Stand back, Watson, as we wait for our bearded friend to descend. We I are hope sacrificing you'll be able to catch it. it on the first try, Holmes. Ginger would never forgive me. Ginger? Yes, the turtle. Of course. Of course. And her name is Ginger. Can we somehow spare Ginger here? Now! Use a net! Now! Oh, maybe we can save the turtle, guys. There's our starving friend, Watson, and the last paper. At last! I thought we'd never succeed. Now can we head back to our lodgings and sleep for part of the day? We have until this evening. We are heading back to Baker Street, Watson, but not to sleep. We have time for a meal, and then we must make haste to the next location that we will ascertain with the help of these messages. Uh, but I'm done for, Holmes. As Ashilas said, I think the slain care little if they sleep or rise again. Come, Watson, make haste. Can we at least separate the bird and the turtle? <laughs> <laughs> we have to save Ginger! I can no longer take it, regardless where these papers that were found on those damn birds at the Tower of London lead. You'll be going without me, Holmes. Plus, this business cannot remain secret much longer, and Scotland Yard would like to take over the case again, and I would gladly give it to them. You are correct, Watson. Even if Chief Warder Smith sent two-thirds of his men on holiday to minimize the risk of leaks, the authorities would be aware with very little delay that something was afoot in London. And they would want to take over the case, as you say. But Scotland Yard is once again facing a strong opponent and is up against a resounding failure. There is no question of my stepping down or even thinking of resting, not while England is being menaced by Arsene Lupin. As you wish, Holmes. If only I had known that one day you would be giving me lessons in patriotism. Now, try to figure out the meaning of these messages. But how, Holmes? They are illegible, Watson. But as Lupin seems to be a magician when the mood strikes him, it may well be a conjuring trick. Now, try to figure out the meaning of these messages. But how, Holmes? They are illegible, Watson. But as Lupin seems to be a magician when the mood strikes him, it may well be a conjuring trick. A conjuring trick, huh? Okay, so I have a whole stack of pieces here. Do I go to my trusty examination table? Put them on the table. Elementary. Like, oh, using the light. Oh, put them together. They have pieces of the letters in each of the messages guys so just have to stack them together like this hello lavender hello welcome to the stream all right with no hope of return the six have flown what to do i hear you groan i will avenge the harm against my nation the prize steep for restitution 
As history proves, a sublime emperor displayed the whole world our splendor. He conquered the land from east to west. The treasures he unnerved, all were impressed from the center of the earth they came. A thousand years old, even a thousand again. It was called a treaty. But it was merely a plot for you to steal what was yours to take not. The name of your search is for a city, that of Catherine, a saint, very pretty. She was the model not only for Raphael, but Solario, Crivelli, and Lochner as well. England will still retain this plunder. A brash display, is it any wonder? The treasure is mine for the taking. I will succeed or die trying. Cover in riddles the object I am after. It turned a young Frenchman into a master. You thought it was one of yours running the show? Who deserved to win the prize? But no, thus it is to our man, not your Mr. Young, to whom we say you are a champ, a lion. Okay. <laughs> Do we need to win this again? <laughs> what is that all about? Watson! Incomprehensible yet again. Nay, Watson. This letter talks of painting, amongst other things, and I bet Lupin wants to gain some time by having a strolling around London, but this time I anticipate arriving at the site of the next theft before he does. Watson, you're spent. You must rest this morning, and I'll take care of this alone. I'll come back to collect you around 11 o'clock. I must find something that resembles the description given in the poem. What? Something in the poem. Uh... Find something where? In this apartment? Or in somewhere else, guys? A sublime emperor. Treasures. A treaty. The name you search for is a city. That of Catherine, a saint, very pretty. England still retains its plunder. It's a treasure. Cover in riddles the object I'm after. You turn a young Frenchman into a master. You thought it was one of yours running the show who deserved to win the prize, but no. You are a champ, a lion. A lot of important words here, guys. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with all these clues? Find something that is related to what is in the poem. What is mean? Okay, what is happening here? Oh, he didn't say hi to you. Uh, Ilya. Say hi again, Lavana. Say hi to Ilya in the chats. I don't think that is what Lavana means here in that message, Ilya. <laughs> we all we all know how Lavana expresses himself or herself, so. Uh, first up, I kind of want to head to the bookstore. <laughs> the bookstore, guys. I don't know why, but... Hopefully, the bookseller is inside, and he is not raising turtles <laughs> in the pub. <laughs> is this the place? I have no reason to go there. Oh, no reason to go there. Then where are we going then? 
Not the tavern, I don't think so, guys. Well, let me go to the map here. Am I supposed to pick a location now? Just based on all those clues. So, map of London, guys. The circus. Well, there's a lion in the poem. I have no reason to go there. Oh, okay. Just click, click on all the locations. Then. I have no reason to go there. Not even Baker Street, guys. We are barred from our, from my old home. <laughs> Cannot go back to two twenty one B. I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go there. Okay, easy, guys. We'll just click on all the locations. <laughs> I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go there. Oh, whoa! Back to the gallery, guys. Am I supposed to look for one painting? A particular painting? And we are in the office already. Hello, I need your help. Hello, gentlemen. Judging by the calm, our little ploy regarding the mildew has worked. Indeed. As long as it doesn't work beyond our expectations, and we will get our visitors back when we reopen. So, have you found the fighting temporaire? I must confess not, but we are making progress on the case. Ah, let me show you this poem. As for the investigation, I have the names of four artists who may have paintings on exhibit here. I am feeling weary and out of sorts after all of the commotion, and I am not able to help you any further. The museum, however, is all yours. Thank you. The name of four artists, guys. What? <laughs> four artists, the names. Farewell, gentlemen. Where? Just inside the message, inside the poem. Four names. There is four paragraphs here. Not counting the first one, guys. So we're looking for four paintings. A sublime emperor displayed the whole world of splendor. Conquered the land from east to west. The treasure he had loved. Then we're looking for a treaty, guys. The name you search for is a city, that of Catherine. England still retain this plunder. Shall we uh, go look for this one in the English gallery, guys? Maybe. This one. It's a Frenchman in the French gallery. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a good place to start. English gallery or the French gallery. Remind me where these places are. So, um, Spanish gallery, French gallery at the corner. That one. This is a French gallery. So we are looking for what again? <laughs> Wait. Cover in riddles the object I'm after, it turned a young Frenchman into a master. You thought it was one of yours running the show, who deserved to win the prize, but no, this is to our man, not your Mr. Young. A champ, a lion. Ha, huh, could it be you? The Emperor Napoleon I, or Bonaparte as we English prefer, painted by Horace Vernet. Hey, all the paintings are back! <laughs> they have fully restored the gallery now! All those colorful, lovely paintings are gone. Probably in a garbage heap now. They put back on the original ones now. <laughs> wow. Uh, could that be the prize? On the pedestal? The Adoration of the Golden Calf by Nicolas Poussin, a classical French painter from the 17th century. Jacques Cazotte, portrait by Jean-Baptiste Perronneau. Born around 1715, died 1783. I cannot believe we are back inside the gallery, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I cannot believe we are back here again. <laughs> Could it be you? Monsieur de Norvins, portrait by Jean Auguste Dominique Ingres, 1780 to 1876. A portrait, Madame Moitessier, by Ingres, who is also a violinist on the side. The Billet Doux by Francoise Boucher. A lion! A lion! There's a lion there! <laughs> You are a champion lion. Covering riddles, the object I'm after, you turned a young Frenchman into a master. Thought it was one of yours running the show. Who deserved to win the prize, but no. It is still our man. Jennifer, hello, welcome. Uh, Monument Ray, hello. How are you doing? Uh, you are a champion lion, guys. So <laughs> Six have flown what to do I think we are on the wrong track. <laughs> we are obviously looking for paintings here, guys. Just don't know which ones. Am I looking for four paintings or six, guys? There are six birds. Are they all pointing to different paintings? Horace Vernet, my ancestor. Magnificent, this... Okay, just try and error all these, right? Portrait of a woman by Perono. French school. Pastel on paper. Okay, so this is the English gallery. Hmm. It's also the name Catherine, guys, in the second second paragraph. So we're looking for lions. Or a woman related to Catherine. Let's just click on other women here on the paintings, like you. Are you a Catherine? Queen Charlotte, painted by Sir Thomas Lawrence, an 18th century painter. You are not Catherine. Are you Catherine? Lady Coburn and her three <laughs> eldest sons by Sir Reynolds. It feels like we're looking for a needle in a haystack right now. Catherine! Catherine, where are you, Catherine? Catherine! 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 Lady Elizabeth Thimbleby <laughs> and Viscountess Andover by Van Dyke. Lions? Any lions in the picture? We found one, but that one doesn't register. Catherine! Lions! A treaty? We're looking for a paper scroll too, guys. <laughs> It's St. Catherine of Alexandria. Oh my god, Catherine! Covelli. Catherine! Wait. Catherine, guys. It's St. Catherine of Alexandria by Crivelli. Uh. Is that not one of them? That's Catherine! The Virgin of the Rocks, famous canvas painted between 1491 and 1508 by Leonardo da Vinci. Are you also Catherine? Man, Catherine? Artist, scientist, inventor, and humanist philosopher. He... Here is St. Catherine of Alexandria. Again? By Wait, all the small painting ones are Catherine's? Are you Catherine? And here's St. Catherine of Alexandria by Raphael. Why are there so many Catherine's here? <laughs> what is happening? 
Why all the Catherines? Well, let me look at this one here. Are you also Catherine? Okay, you're a dude. <laughs> Portrait of a young man in red by Domenico Girlandeo. This painting was executed between 1480 and 90 and is on loan. Okay, where are we right now? We are in the Italian gallery. So... Hmm. We have three Catherines here, guys. So there are four paragraphs in the poem. Are there not? That of Catherine, a saint, very pretty. She was a model not only for Raphael, but Solario, Crivelli, and Locke. Oh my god, these are the four artists here. Oh! I was wondering where the artist's name came from in that conversation with the director, guys. So these are the four painters, Raphael, Solario, Crivelli, and Lochner. Okay, hold on. What is this again? It's St. Catherine of Alexandria by Crivelli. Crivelli! Oh my god! So, the four painters. Here is St. Catherine of Alexandria by Solario. Solario, this one. And here's St. Catherine of Alexandria by Raphael. Okay, which one are we missing then? We're missing Lochner. Okay, we're looking for small Catherine paintings here, guys. Small ones. Very small ones. Are you Catherine? Portrait of a Woman by Lucas Cranach the Elder, 1472 to 1553, official painter of the Saxony court. The Virgin and Child by Albrecht Durer, 1471 to 1558. Catherine, are you painter, Catherine? Mathematician and foremost an engraver. Hans Holbein the Younger died of the plague in London in 1543. His works are on loan to the museum. Catherine? We need one more Catherine. A young woman seated at a virginal, painted by Vermeer, Dutch painter of the 17th century. Hmm. There are four paintings here. We got three. Hexagonal Rome, English Gallery, Flemish German Gallery, Italian Gallery. We're looking for small ones, guys. Unless this last one is not a small one. But if we follow the pattern of the other three, then we are looking for a smaller painting with one woman in it, named Catherine. This one? Canvas by Adam Elsheimer the most famous German painter at the beginning of the 17th century. Catherine! Look, a Lochner, entitled oh, Catherine. Catherine of Alexandria. There, I've made note of the four paintings indicated in Lupin's poem. I shall return to Watson, and we'll put our heads together. We found all four paintings, guys. So, corresponding to Lupin's six birds poem can be found in the National Gallery. They are all portraits of St. Catherine of Alexandria. So, are we not picking them up? <laughs> We're just leaving them behind? Look, a Lochner entitled St. Catherine of Alexandria. There, I've made note of the four paintings indicated in Lupin's poem. Okay, we turn to Watson, guys. Let's go. Watson is not feeling well. Is he under the weather? 
Maybe it's an allergy season, guys. Hello, Miss Chris Bowman. Welcome to the stream. How Holmes are you doing? Has left at last. I'm worn out, but I have no choice. I must take advantage of his absence by recovering his Legion of Honor. I'll make haste to the bank and then attempt to find the crooks to whom I pawned it. Oh, there, I've ooh. been able to gather a sufficient sum of money. Now to the Golden Lion. Uh huh. Wasn't he trying to recover that item, huh? <laughs> the one that we we gamble away. Oh, actually, no. <laughs> No, no, that didn't happen. We gave it to the lady, guys. Anyway. Hello, everybody in the chat. How are you guys doing? So, I will be playing the new casual game tomorrow. In case you are wondering. So, there is, is another release this week. So, as you all know, uh, Grim Tales Dual Disposition is on the channel right now. The bonus game is going to be up. Later tonight, I finished it already. It's very, sh it's a very short game. Um, so tomorrow we're playing uh, the new release by uh, the Winnie Games on stream. So the today is all about Sherlock Holmes and I'll say Lupin. Maria, hello, welcome to the stream. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? Couldn't pay attention. Whoa. Catherine! A fifth Catherine painting! <laughs> I found a fifth one. Tell me, my good man, do you remember me? Last night I was in the next room where I pawned an object that I have come to buy back. Where can I find those concerned? Just where do you think you are? In the Duchess's front parlour? If there ain't nobody, it's cause there ain't nobody, and I don't know no more than that. We don't ask questions here, we drink and shut it. It's a scandal. You'll hear from me, Mr. A scandal! I'm calling the papers. Shh, shh. I'm a secret war. With ears. Shh. And you, a fine gentleman, so drunk early in the morning. Closed. So, ah, uh, my new friend, can she help me, guys? I cannot even get inside this door now. What am I supposed to do? I have nothing to gain from this miserable character. Hello, Paflina. Hello, Lee Tran. Is this the only game we're playing today? Yes, Elia. Yes. It's a very long game. <laughs> we're still very early on. So, cannot get inside the gambling room with the turtles, the racing turtles. Closed. And we cannot meet our new lady friend here. What are we supposed to do? Why, Doctor, what lucky happenstance. Have you recovered from last night's temper? No. Oh, hello there. <clears throat> it's lucky that I have found you here. I've collected the amount necessary to buy back the medal that I pawned yesterday. You look like someone who might know the ruffians who were holding the bookseller. Do you know where I could find them? <laughs> you aren't serious, I hope. I don't know them any better than you. Earlier in the evening, I had them round in hopes of gleaning a few morsels, but that's all. I had thought that you, like me, had bluffed, and that your trinket wasn't worth a knicker. By this time, it has certainly been melted and sold as bullion. At best, it's still in the window of a pawnbroker's. What are you telling me? You're going to tell me where I can find these rogues and the medal. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in the thick of it, because I've got friends in high places. I do. Why, Doctor? You're acting like a common thug. I, who have done everything possible for you. You must excuse me. I do apologize. Uh, how could you know? I seem to have lost my usual aplomb. This case is dragging on, and to top it all off, I have lost my friend's medal. Don't worry. 
I've seen worse. As for your head, it's sleep that you need. Your ideas will be much sharper after a rest. Impossible. My friend will be returning any moment, and then we'll end up I don't know where in London in order to stop... Ah, but I've said too much. The men who have the medal, is there any way to find them? Maybe, but I'll have to call in a few favours, and that takes time. And money. I have a hundred guineas. Will that suffice? That should do the trick, but I can't guarantee anything. In any case, I'll do all that I can, I promise you, to help retrieve the medal. Thank you very much. I'll get to it immediately. But don't forget that you owe me one. Or free, rather. Three! <laughs> How did you come to that number three? Ah, Watson, I thought I'd be dragging you out of bed. Oh, ah, I was summoned to visit a patient. Obviously a hypochondriac. Eh? Oh, uh, yes. How did you know? Otherwise, you would have taken your medical bag along. Ah, oh, yes. By Jove, you are clever. As for the case at hand, which must be our priority, we must find to which treaty is referred in the latest message from Lupin. I just came from the National Gallery, and I think we have all of the elements necessary to formulate an answer. What do you think, Watson? What? <laughs> Already? To which treaty does the six birds poem refer? What? <laughs> six birds poem? Uh... Okay, I'm, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Your intentions are good, Watson, but you've missed everything of importance. I need to do review of all those materials that we have gathered already. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on, guys. Six birds poem. Can, can I go to those paintings? Uh, okay, let's head back to the dialogue here, guys. The one inside the National Gallery. Uh, what the heck? Visit to Bot, huh? The Tale of a Treaty. The bird's message. Here, guys. Okay, what did Holmes say about the paintings, guys? Back in the gallery. Okay, hold on. Reports. Oh, here. <laughs> there is a report section here, guys. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess he has a important, important findings. The Tower of London storeroom, I noticed that all of the canned food, bed of flour, vegetable baskets, and even a piece of dry meat and fish were stamped with the royal coat of arms. The preserves are rhymed with red wax, which of which a few drops fell from a shelf where jars of Italian tomatoes were stored. I knew it, guys. That is important, huh? The drops of wax. Okay, so this is the one with the six poems. The four paintings corresponding to Lupin's six birds poem can be found in the National Gallery. They are all portraits of St. Catherine of Alexandria. Of Alexandria. Could that be uh, the answer here? Which tree does the six birds poem refer? Or uh, uh, Catherine, guys. Catherine. Catherine. Your intentions are good, Watson, but you've missed everything of importance. Alexandria? Hey, Pufflina, welcome to the stream. Also, Jusuni, hello. Hello, everybody. How are you doing, Juice? Uh, Alexandria. Is that the right spelling? Alexandria. The Treaty of Alexandria. Ooh. Exactly, Watson. Would it not be the one following our victory over Napoleon Bonaparte? Undoubtedly, Watson, but we need details. I'll go see Barnes. His store wasn't open when I arrived, but it should be now. Rest for a while, and I'll be back soon. With pleasure, Holmes. With how well Holmes pay attention to details, guys, I think 
he already knows about the missing medal in his room. <laughs> right, guys. He knows about the medal already. I'm sure. I forgot about quick traveling. We can quick travel in this game. Hello, Barnes! Oh, hello, Mr. Holmes. What can I do for you? Good day, Barnes. I'm looking for a book that deals with English victories and the subsequent treaties, the Treaty of Alexandria in particular. You'll have to excuse me, but I am already run off my feet this morning as I need to relabel some of the books. I'll leave you to look for yourself. There must be something in the history shelf near the back. Why am I always doing this by myself? Barnes, you are the books. Why is he doing Tai Chi, guys? Is he doing Tai Chi? <laughs> He's doing Tai Chi behind the counter. Yeah. <laughs> Something at the back, you say? A bookshelf at the back. I believe you, Barnes. At the back. You mean this corner here? Way back in the corner. Really, guys, this could be anywhere. We are looking for a distinct book that is out of place. Could be a different color. It's the rest of the shelf. Ah, there we go. Ooh, part of a collection too. Symbol of the English superiority of this part of the African continent. The Treaty of Alexandria was signed in 1801 after the defeat of the French forces under General Manuel and his subsequent surrender. According to the Article 16 of the Treaty, uh, the English imposed a delivery of the antiquities held in the city of Alexandria. The majority of these pieces have been, perhaps inopportunely, inopportunely, moved from Cairo to Alexandria in order to keep them secure. Indeed, at the instigation of Napoleon, the Cairo Institute was created with a number of savants of renown. Savant renown, the most beautiful pieces of Egyptian in antiques which had been found during the French campaign were at the center of the studies. However, the events of the English forces didn't leave the scholars much time to study the ancient Egyptian treasures, and it was decided that the most precious ones would be sent to Alexandria. This selection proved quite beneficial to the crown of England, who laid claim, as previously stated, to all the antiquities present in Alexandria, but magnanimously left all the remainders in Cairo to France. It should be noted that Rosetta Stone, studied by the French scholar, Champollion, uh, who unlocked the key to understanding hieroglyphics, was part of the plunder and was sent to England on the HMS El Egyptian the next year. The stone can now be seen in the British Museum. Could this be the one? Could this be the one, guys? This Rosetta Stone that I'll say Lupin is after. This is the one. I found it, Barnes. I'll take it. Oh, fine, Mr. Holmes. You'll settle up later? You see, it's quite a rare book. Quite dear, too. Right. He is not naming a prize here. He is, he is afraid of me. <laughs> he is not afraid of Watson, guys. Are we going immediately to... The new location now? Where is it? A uh, British Museum. Do oh, do I need to go back to Watson, guys? British Museum, where is it? I've seen that hotspot before. Here! British Museum! 
the largest museum in London, where famous archaeological treasures are on display. Oh, so we have not only paintings here, guys. We have other things inside this one. Exciting. Let's head to Baker Street. Oh, we have to go gather Watson, guys. <laughs> My partner. We are not leaving without Watson. Oh, hello, Constable. Waiting for me. Hello. Day, Mr. Holmes. Good day, Rufles. I've got a message for you, I have. Direct from the yard. I'm supposed to bring you to Inspector Lestrade quick as can be. There's going to be a right important meeting there is. The PM himself will be there. For once, Lestrade is ahead of the game. Listen, Rufles, in order to save some precious time, will you bring a message to the Inspector? Tell him to meet me here with as much of the force as he can muster, but he must be discreet. Do you understand? Right, Mr. Holmes. I'll be off, I will. Thank you. And even better, Let's tell to him Street. to meet me in the British Museum. Why waste time, Holmes? We have to get going, Watson. Where are you? My dear Watson. Are you asleep? Up, Watson. It's time. The wave. No. It will engulf me. The, the tentacles. Ah! Oh, awaken, guys. Come, my friend. That's all finished and behind us. Compose yourself. We have an appointment in half an hour with the Prime Minister. I'm still dreaming. The Prime Minister. The tentacles from the awakened guys. From Cthulhu. Uh, Prime Minister, where? Where are we going? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh. Yeah, they're gonna meet us here. Let's just go outside then. So, Holmes, what are we doing? Were you dreaming of the last case, Watson? I thought they are going to meet us here, in the apartment. Prime Minister, where does he reside, guys? <laughs> I'm not sure. Which building? <laughs> uh, Buckingham Palace? I have no reason to go there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the Queen is, not the Prime Minister. <laughs> I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go not there. Not Scotland Yard. Where does he work? <laughs> I have no reason to go there. I don't know. <laughs> Bank of the Tower, not the Tower. I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go there. Uh, Have we done this one? No. Scarlet Yard. I have no reason to go there. Uh. Where else have we not click on? I have no reason to go Burlington there. Burlington Arcade. Are uh, we going directly to the British Museum? Here's our next destination, oh. Watson. The British Museum. Come on now, make haste. We're ahead of the game at the moment, and we want to remain that way. Okay, we're going directly to the museum then. Who cares about the Prime Minister, guys? How do you do, Prime Minister? Lestrade. Mr. Holmes, despite the intelligence and the perspicacity far above the norm that all of England is bestowing you, I assure you that you are a thousand leagues from imagining to what point I am, let's say, annoyed. Inspector Lestrade here will only give one answer to all of my questions. Ask Sherlock Holmes. So, Mr. Holmes, where are we? 
A few days ago, July 14th to be exact, we received a letter from the ubiquitous Arsene Lupin. It is here for your perusal. Is this in earnest? The facts concur. We are in our third day and he has honoured all of his engagements to date. Even in recent history, this type of preposterousness would have led to war, do you know? Well, Mr. Holmes, all of this is too grievous to be left in the hands of an unofficial detective, no matter what his talents are. From here on, you will be working with Inspector Lestrade. You will be under his authority, and he will report to my cabinet. I am going to call a council of war, and I want you to know that no matter who you are, all contact with the press is categorically forbidden and will be punished in exemplary fashion. Gentlemen, these damn French, I should send in the fleet. My dear Lestrade, time is pressing. I don't see anyone here about. Is the museum closed? No, but as there is work underway and most of the galleries are closed, there isn't a crowd. That's fortunate. Lestrade, listen well. Clear the museum of all visitors and workmen, block the entrance, and post some men around the building. No one is allowed to enter the British Museum from this point on. As for us, Watson, let us assure ourselves that Lupin's next target is still within these walls. Wait. I have a map of the British Museum that the guard gave me. It could be of some use. I have a feeling that Arsene Lupin is already inside the museum, guys. <laughs> I'm sure he's one step ahead of us already. But anyway, here we are. So, the Prime Minister doesn't seem to be like us that much, guys. So, Holmes, what are we doing? I'm, um, going inside. Are you coming, <laughs> Watson? <laughs> We're going in. Hello, good day. Nothing Gentlemen. to report, Mr. Holmes. Can we go in? And you have no idea what's going on? No, not in the slightest. But I do know that it's rather pleasant watching all these pretty young men in uniform. Our inspector, you are quite the joker. You are going to jail. And everybody... Oh, hello, gentlemen. What can we do for you? Oh, hello. Are you the director? You seems ecstatic. <laughs> Good day. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. Are you the museum's curator? The guard. Oh, you are the guard? Not in uniform. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are the guard? Could you show me the Rosetta Stone as quickly as possible, please? Of course. Follow me. You follow me with muffled steps in the hall, up the stairs, into my small room. <laughs> That's where you get out your... Here, gentlemen, we have arrived. The Rosetta Stone. Did you know that it was taken from the French? Only too well. There stands the honour of England that we must be prepared to defend, Watson. Let's find Lestrade. We'll need his men to help search the museum. The curator is quite a jolly fellow, isn't he, guys? He's singing in the rain. Except there's no rain here. <laughs> He's singing in fin air, guys. Okay, so this is a famous Rosetta Stone, guy. Eh? Not much of a looker. <laughs> the famous Rosetta Stone. After Thomas Young's discovery, Champollion was able to fully decipher the great mystery of hieroglyphs. In fact, this text, a Ptolemaic decree from 196 BC, was inscribed in three languages, hieroglyphs, demotics, a popular script at the time, and finally, Greek. So very talented, guys. Three languages. I can see why. This has uh, become a very popular brand of uh, language courses now. <laughs> It is set in stone back in the days. The way to learn new languages, guys, is through this stone, this Rosetta Stone. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
Oh, those broken pieces. Of arts. Nothing to report, Mr. Holmes. Oh, this looks peculiar. <laughs> A crack in the floor tile. Is there no maintenance here? Cracks, cracks, cracks everywhere, guys. Nothing to report, Mr. Holmes. Oh. A great photo op spot, guys. So we do have a uh, a map of the British Museum. So we are like in the atrium right now. The large spot. Actually, no, we are not. We're here. Egyptian and Babylonian halls is where we are. Okay. So it looks like only a small portion of the museum is accessible here. Have four rooms. This is the Egyptian and Babylonian room. Now let's just do a quick stroll around, guys. Bust of Amenhotep III. Black granite statues of Sekhmet, Egyptian goddess of destruction, instrument of Ray's vengeance against man. Sekhmet the first, Sekhmet the second, Sekhmet the third. And Sagmat the fourth. All in here, guys. Posing for a family picture. <laughs> All together in one shot. Limestone Stella with three figures of bears, protector of households, brandishing a sword to fight evil. Three figures of bears. Are we ignoring the smallest figure here? <laughs> Holmes is ignoring the little one on purpose, guys. Granite head of Amenhotep the Third. A big head. Hey, a bathtub, guys. What is this about? You have nothing to say about this. Holmes, you're not interested in the bathtub? All right, guess not. Colossal granite fist. One must imagine the rest. There are patterns on its own. Look at that. It's like scratch marks of a giant kitty. <laughs> Queen Amos Mary Tarmoon, sister and wife of Amenhotep the first. Neo-Assyrian stone relief, representing an homage to King Asurnasirpal II. The monkey is a very sought-after animal in Mesopotamian art, an exotic animal of great value. Ooh, I've seen this one before. It's an ancient Somewhere. Babylonian door. So those numbers on the size. Are they relevant? Or maybe just a uh, uh, measuring ruler? And a broken bust. Colossal bust of Ramesses the Second, Ramesses the Great. Broken during excavation, perhaps. Ram of Amun. A ram, only the head of a ram. Hey, a second bathtub here, guys. Ooh. Sarcophagus of Hapmen, absent for the moment, a gift of King George the Third. Not a bathtub, unfortunately. This is a sarcophagus, guys. <laughs> I guess it's not a good idea to, to take baths inside a sarcophagus. It's bad omen, guys. It's bad luck. <laughs> Granite lid of the sarcophagus of Setjau, Viceroy of Nubia in the reign of Ramesses II, 
1279 to 1213 BC. Granite sarcophagus of Parhemnitja, high priest of Fat at Memphis. Colossal limestone bust of Amenhotep III. Oh, I forgot to look at the floors, guys. What if there are footprints on the floor? <laughs> I was full. I was all focusing on uh, these artifacts and stuff. We should be focusing on the floor tiles and also the roof. No signs of broken windows, eh? A closed bathtub. Whoa, it's missing his whole head here. Look at that. Nothing to talk about here, Holmes. Painted limestone statue of Nenkeftka, 5th dynasty. Granordiorite bark, bearing a statue of Queen Motemwia, who was the mother of Amenhotep III. Half a statue now. It's missing his whole upper body here, guys. Her hands are still here. And that is all. Granite statue of Amun, in the form of a ram, protecting King Taharqua, a member of the 25th dynasty. A coffin probably makes a bad bathtub. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> is this cracked wall important here? <laughs> Look at the cracks. Granite Naos of Ptolemy VIII, a shrine dedicated to Isis. Column and chapter in the shape of a palm, red granite. Whoa. Pretty big column, guys. Great sculpture of a scarab beetle. Oh my god, a giant beetle. Look at the size of that. Egyptian stele. Fragment of the beard of the Great Sphinx. There! Okay, now where do we go? Uh, we cannot go that way, guys. It's blocked off. So how, can we go to the other rooms? Go back outside. So many things to look at. Can we climb up the scaffolding? What should we be focusing on? Footprints. I feel like we should check all the barrels, guys, and the content of the barrels. These are big enough to hide people in. And we all know what happened in the gallery earlier. Lupin hid himself inside the crate. So he has done it before. <laughs> he might do it again. Shall we check this crate here? No. Have we not learned anything here, Watson? Why are we not checking the crates and the barrels? So this is called the reading room, or is that the uh, the circular building in there? That's the reading room. Okay, that's like permanent exhibition halls. Now we have an uh, entrance hall and a gate. Okay. So we're not going here. Nothing to report, Mr. Holmes. I don't mind taking the shovel though. Very useful items.
is this in operation? Nothing to report, Mr. Holmes. Alright, I guess we're not going inside this hole yet. It is on the map. Yeah, but it's uh, not open right now. Unless I can just go through the guards. Oh, it is open, guys. Whoa! This is a permanent exhibition hall. Wow, there's a lot of books. Eat your hearts out, Barnes. <laughs> this is a better bookstore than yours, bookstore. Back in back on Baker Street. This one has more books than yours, Barnes. Horrible. Look at those eyes. Those missing eyes. A bear hug? <laughs> you guys want a bear hug? Here is a bear hug. We don't have any, uh... Hotspots here, huh? A stuffed penguin. Original. Original? How so? Strange, this Stella. It could be an ancient custom stop panel. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> this is the second time in the game! <laughs> Watson! <laughs> Your damn stare scared me! Wow. Colossal marble foot. Marble statue of Demeter. What are you holding there? <laughs> you are holding a giant bread stick. <laughs> oh, is that a torch? Is that the Olympic torch? <laughs> that looks very odd, guys. Uh, Daniel, that's it. Hello, welcome to the stream. The spawns of a partner named Nobo? <laughs> Not in this game, though. Barnes is all by himself. Impressive collection of artists' medals by Dacier. A statue of Kali, the goddess of the dead. Destructive feminine energy. Ah, women. <laughs> Watson. It's Richard the First, King of England, better known as Richard the Lionheart. A lovely Stradivarius. So at uh, this time in the game, Watson is still living with uh, Holmes, guys. So he's not married yet. The solar but he is... system. Impressive and but, ingenious. But he's going to get married. Famous Piranesi vase. Curious piece. A bird bath, guys. A giant bird bath. A unique collection of precious ancient vases. All right. So the thing is, uh, this box here inside this room. Can we click on any of them? Are they not in collections? I don't think they're important though. An incomplete table service, but priceless all the same. You can click on all the items except the books. Hopefully we don't have to find anything here. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to look for a particular book inside this place. It will take ages. Alright, and we are done guys. We are done. We didn't get any uh, hotspot here. The bear and, and the elephant. Nothing, huh? Okay. 
So, have we noticed any irregularities? Footprints and all. Okay, so we still have the reading room here in the middle of this large open space. How are you doing? Nothing to report, Mr. Holmes. They all look exactly the same, guys. The faces are the same. Creepy. Nothing to report, Mr. Holmes. We have double gangers here. Whoa! This is a reading room. Ooh, wow. Hello, the curator is here, guys. Can I actually go up the steps? I wonder, guys. This machine is strange. It must help to locate oneself in this immense library. Is it accessible? Wow, it is accessible. All the floors too. I can go to all three floors. Are we looking for anything in particular? I hope not. <laughs> but there is a system to help us locate any books that we need in the game. A system in place. Hello. Da -dum, da dum Quite the business, this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I think we have finished a whole tour of this place. Uh, can we go? Oh, there's an index here too, guys. Aha. J to A. Are these the same? Yeah, these are the same. The same maps. This machine is strange. It must help to locate oneself in this immense library. Barnes and Nobles. I miss Barnes and Nobles. And Borders, too. I don't think we have anything uh, left in the city here. No new bookstores, guys. We still have uh, the uh, used bookstores, but uh, all the Barnes and Nobles are closed. All the borders are closed. Well, borders have been had closed in a very long time. So, but uh, the Barnes and Nobles, the one remaining here, has closed already. So we don't have any new bookstores left in the city. What a shame. 